Hello, my name is Kariana Jones, and today I will be critiquing Kevin Carroll's path to professional presentation speech that was given at SCAD. Mr. Carroll begins his presentation with a very high energy. He introduces himself and the SCAD DJ that he has hired. I will admit that at the very beginning of this encounter, I was a little put off by Mr. Carroll, simply because he seems to be trying too hard. Um, however, as he continues to speak, that larger-than-life presence begins to be brought down to earth, and I would advise him um, just try not to act hip or modern, um, but instead to be himself, um, because as he continues to speak, he begins to focus on inspiring rather than impressing, and inspire that inspiring through line that he possesses really hit home with me as an audience member, as I'm sure that it did with a bunch of people. Um, so just to really stick with that inspiration and to follow his passion because um, you can really feel it in his speaking technique. I did really enjoy his calls to action, which he does multiple times throughout his presentation. He engages the audience and calls on them to raise their hand and come forward. Um, this trick is used very commonly among public speaking. It continuously makes sure that his audience is involved and actively listening. He not only calls to the audience to do things, but he also speaks on subjects that are very obviously important to the audience. Um, for example, when speaking about the sports teams at SCAD or the opportunities as artists that we have, he takes this message of the importance of play and the do not talk about it, but be about it attitude and relates it directly to us as artists and creatives. I also enjoyed how frank he is about being a black man and the comedy that he brings to it. This really breaks the barriers of relatability and really says, okay, just because we are not exactly the same doesn't mean that my message won't relate to you and help you creatively and professionally. I try to do this as well with all of my art. Whenever I'm designing something, I always try to step back and make sure that I'm in no way excluding anybody um, from gaining something from it. Um, I want to make sure that just because I may come from a completely different world than um, that of comparison of my audience, um, that they're still able to walk away with a piece that they can identify with. The mantra that I previously spoke about um, is one of my favorite quotes from this speech, the don't talk about it, be about it. This quote is in itself a call to action that the audience can then take with them and implement later in their lives. On a personal level, this quote made me think about all the things, especially through this quarantine, that I have said that I want to do or said that I want to complete and haven't. Implementing this do-it attitude is extremely important, especially now, even when society says that it may be okay to take a break. I'd actually love to see Mr. Carroll do this speech again, but while in quarantine, and see how his message changes and adapts with our current societal standards, I think that that would be really, really interesting. It seems cheesy to say, but other than focusing on inspiring rather than impressing while speaking, I don't have many critiques for Mr. Carroll. Mr. Carroll speaks from the heart and successfully inspires his audience to take action and supplies those listening with tools to go forth and present professionally. Kevin Carroll is an extremely talented speaker and teacher, and he makes things fun and easy to understand and thrives to relate to those around him. His nonverbals, pacing, and use of words are all conclusive with a successful speaker, and I hope to be able to hear him in person someday. Thank you so much for listening.